Our other top story tonight, imagine getting your car stolen and then getting taunted about it. Yeah, bizarre story here. A local man says it happened to him when his Dodge Charger scat pack was stolen. He then began receiving videos online of the thieves joyriding in his car. Victor Williams joins us live. Victor, you've learned he took action into his own hands to get his car back. Yeah, that is correct. And this is a pretty odd story with some pretty bold actions coming from thieves, but it didn't really play out exactly how they wanted it to. I'm just grateful to get it back like that because some of the guys that were trying to help me find it, their cars were took too and they said I got my car back completely stripped. Brandon is lucky to be driving tonight in his scat pack. <laughs> Less than 24 hours ago, it was in the hands of thieves. I hear my car start up and I look out the window and I see it pulling off the driveway. Because of that reason, he doesn't want to show his face or use his last name. The culprits were able to find Brandon's social media info, where they sent him several videos of his car being taken on a dangerous joyride. The people text me saying, I got your car, I need 3000 for it back. Brandon thought the worst. That's until he received word that his car was spotted on Detroit's west side. Somebody sent me a tip of where they thought they saw the car, and I thought I seen the car too, and I had called the police and let them know, and the police were like, well, we can't go back there and get your car. There's nothing we can do about it. From there, he decided to take matters into his own hands, picking up his car from Dexter and Joy Road with just a couple of friends at 4 a.m. But he's puzzled as to what the plan was. It's not adding up to me, you know what I mean? It's not... You want $3,000 for a car that has a $10,000 motor in it, you know what I mean? You know, I knew whoever took it didn't really know, because anybody that knows these cars, they're very high-value cars. Thankfully, it was all in one piece, with only a busted-out rear passenger window. Are you worried at all about these kids coming back? Yes and no. You know, they do know where I live, but at the same time, I'm not really worried about it. You know what I mean? I have the means, to, you know, to defend my home if it ever comes down to that type of situation, you know what I mean? And Brandon says he's just happy to have his car back, but he's going to be keeping his head on a swivel from now on. Victor Williams, Local 4. Yeah, just a really bizarre story. Glad everything turned out okay. Victor, yeah. we appreciate it.